Fraud. A person or thing intended to deceive others, typically by unjustifiably claiming or being credited with accomplishments or qualities. Kawaki is a fraud. What's up guys, I'm Once here, and we want to do a nice little breakdown and discussion on why we can't just put Kawaki on Fraud Watch anymore. No, 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 that man's a fraud. Absolutely, undeniably, we've waited long enough, alright? It's been nine months, y'all. It's been nine months. There's no more time for defense. We gotta go on the offense and really hold this man accountable for his endless series of L's. But let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into it. Editing me, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? That guy. Ted's leader. Fun fact. I do have to have it on me and keep it on me at all times. And another fun fact: Did you know that in every single chapter of Boruto so far, Kawaki has shown fraudulent activities? Every single one of them. Every single one of them. And it starts as early as darn near the third or fourth page of the first chapter, where we see Naruto Uzumaki and Hinata Hyuga. Now Hinata Uzumaki being sealed away in the timeless dimension of Kawaki's access and current creation. Yet, this is fraudulent activity. Because remember what he said, bro? He said he was going to save them. He was going to free them. One way or another. It's been years in universe. Hmm? 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 You deceive them? You deceive everyone else? You deceive yourself? Come on now, Kawaki. I thought this was supposed to be quick. Nice and easy. A little solid light. But multiple years and you've done nothing. In terms of achieving your goal. Absolutely nothing. That's confirmed later on in chapter one. But that's only chapter one, right? You know, that's some that's some extended fraudulence from chapter whatever of the pre-time skip. So maybe maybe the fraudulence isn't that bad, right? Maybe it isn't, like I said, every single chapter. Chapter two. Y'all, 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 we can't excuse this. This is not one of the divine trees given sentience and a personality. This is not Jura. This is not Hidari, this is not Bug Tree, this is not any of them. No, this is a generic claw grime. And it did Sasuke. Not like this. It did Kawaki like this. Not a one-eyed Sasuke. No, a one-eyed Sasuke post-timeskip or during the timeskip took someone's eye. You know, No Limits Code eye. You know, the guy who's apparently stronger than Ishiki. Not stronger than Ishiki, but stronger than Jigen, who was stronger than a dual-eyed Sasuke before, and a Hokage Naruto pre-loss of Kurama. But no, this generic claw grime comes and suns Kawaki. I thought you were supposed to be the strongest, huh? I thought you were supposed to be the next incarnation of Ishiki. I thought you were him, Kawaki, and you get sunned like this? Like this? To the point where he doesn't even get up himself. He doesn't save himself. You know who saves Kawaki? Shikadai. I know y'all are going to be like, but well, Pencil Man, you know, he did immediately blast its head only because it was restrained by Shikadai. Bro had to go karma to deal with a base, fresh out the cut claw grime. A portion of the ten tails had Kawaki, he was slumped by this in chapter two post time skip. Now, let's see how a similar character deals with, uh, you know, claw grimes. Literally not even pages later, we see Borto cut them down with literal ease in base. What does Kawaki have to do? Activate his karma while this single claw grime is being restrained and then blast it out of existence. Only to get jumped by more. He's whack! He's whack! But of course, you know, it's just chapter two. There's no way he's fraudulent in chapter three as well. You had one job, Kawaki. In fact, you know what? I'll even give it worse. I'm about to say, I'm about to give him credit. No, I'm going to give him some worse flack for this. Because you had two of your main targets here. You had Code and Boruto. Right here in arm's grasp. You could have reached that one of them big old fleshy arms and grab one. You got neither. You got your hands on not a single one of them. And then you let Code just straight up escape. Because you were held up by what? A regular claw grab again. Kawaki, you are 0-2 against basics. Against generics. Kawaki, these are a portion of the Ten Tails. The Ten Tails hasn't been relevant since OG Shippuden. I can't say OG Naruto, but OG Shippuden. And you're being beaten. You're being outplayed by Code? Code who lost an eye to no Rinnegan Sasuke during the time skip? Off screen? You're being outplayed by Code who literally opened up the time skip with being stepped on. 
Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Code's not a fraud, but he's going to get his own video. We need to talk about Kawiki, because it still doesn't stop. Look at this. Look at Bro's performance in Chapter 4. One-on-one, -on -one, having a whole interaction with Boruto. Instead of attacking, lunging, doing anything, even tagging Boruto once, what happens? Kawiki starts thinking, ooh, who the heck is he talking to? And then, boom, gone. Instantaneously. Immediately. Indubitably. Kawiki... This is the man that you want more than anybody else, and not in that way. You want him gone. And you mean to tell me he just escapes? Just like that for real, for real? Oh, well, Pencil, he did use a teleportation. Look at all the time that exists here. Borto's having a whole conversation with a frog. And Kawaki's still just standing here looking at him. Oh, ooh, I wonder what's going on. Because he's fraudulent. He really said he was like that. He really said, oh, yeah, I'm going to be bored to myself. I'm going to take control of the situation. You know, I'm really that guy for real. For He's not that guy. For real, for real. He, in fact, he's trash. He's garbage. He's doing the water. And then, <laughs> once again, it just keeps continuing into Chapter 5. We see that Bro has been doing such a poor job of maintaining any sort of illusion and relying so heavily on omnipotence that actual scientific data, which omnipotence has been generally trying to undo and ignore, we literally see actual pictorial evidence of Boruto's existence as the real child of Hinata and Naruto get thrown aside, but Amato just figures it out anyway. Because Kawaki didn't hide anything. Because he's dumb! Once again, he, that's the sad thing about Kawaki. He's fraudulent on every level. There's every single level he's fraudulent on. In a combat level, he's getting sunned by generics. On a intelligence level, in battle IQ level, he's getting outplayed by code. By code. By code. And then in general intelligence, he's just not that smart. He's not trying to play any sort of games. He's fundamentally ignoring everything about omnipotence and how it works and not even trying to figure that out. He's just letting himself roll with the flow. Roll with the okie doke. So when he gets okie doke, I hope people aren't shocked. I hope they aren't bamboozled. I hope their socks aren't knocked off. Because of course he would. He's garbage. He's absolute no He's legit letting everybody else who could hypothetically figure it out. Not just walk, but live, talk, and discuss, and prepare. But nah. Nah, you see, because actually dealing with those issues would be smart. And to be smart, you can't be Kawaki. Because the fraudulence continues. You are the incarnation of Enutsutsuki. The strongest Otsutsuki. See, look, I'm changing titles because I'm so bamboozled by the fraudulence. You are the incarnation of the strongest Otsutsuki we've ever seen. It will sun both a Rinnegan Sasuke and a Hokage Naruto at the same time. And you mean to tell me, while you're, oh, I'm about to go hunt Boruto down. Oh, I'm really that guy for real, for real. Oh, let me go lock it. Instantaneously, you get slumped by a snake from its keeper. <laughs> Why is he taking so many naps? Why is half the series so far post time skip? Kawaki. Because he's a fraud. He claims he's him. He claims he's that guy. He claims so much, but he's not repping nothing. He's repping nap time. Live on air. This isn't even, like, this is so consistent, too. Because he stays knock-knock. Realize, the whole entire battle between Mitsuki and Boruto ends up going on for a minute-minute before Kawaki even begins to stir. This advanced Otsutsuki-type being, he doesn't wake up in this chapter. He needs to wake up the next chapter. We had to wait a whole month for this man to, oh, oh, shit. Shikamaru, where, where, where's, oh, where's Mitsuki at? Oh, he just hit me with that good, good. And I know you're going to be like, well, you know, it's Mitsuki. You know, he's got that high tier next level. He shouldn't have been tagged in the first place. If he wasn't fraudulent, if he was actually on that type of time, and if he really was that guy, Mitsuki's little sleepy juice shouldn't have even done nothing because it shouldn't have even landed. He's just a fraud. Like, I, I hate to, I mean, here's the thing. I don't necessarily hate to say it, but I do kind of hate to say it. I was expecting more. I'm going to talk about Code in his own video, but I was definitely expecting more from Kawaki, at least. You can make Code a fraud. Forget about it. Who cares? But when you compare Boruto and Kawaki to their previous incarnations of Naruto and Sasuke in their post time skip runs, Sasuke is running laps upon laps upon laps around Kawaki. Baby walkie. Sleep walkie. He's literally sleepwalking throughout the entire rest of this chapter. Because bro actually got put to bed by a snake. And guess what? It still doesn't stop. It gets even worse. You see this man get one time by a kick. Uh, and here's the thing. Here's, this is the one bit where I'll get slightly defensible. 
I'll, I'll be like, you know what, maybe. Because what do you gotta do, right? You gotta make the new villain group look strong. Okay, fine. Have them put up a real good fight against Kawaki. But this isn't a real good fight. Yo, he arrives, lands one kick on Hidani, which does no damage, and Hidari doesn't even stumble from. He immediately recovers. Juro pulls up, seals him away in some trees. Kawaki just barely breaks out through using Sukuona, then comes in. And gets his whole mutated arm shattered while he has karma activated and then gets one tapped. Okay, Millie two tapped. It's a two-piece combo. But two-piece, no drink, and he's not! He's genuinely not! From nothing from a two-piece? A two-piece, no drink, three-piece, no bev? And he's legit. <laughs> and he proceeds to sleep for the rest of the chapter. Delta has to go check on, bro. Because he's actually knocked out. Y'all, he gets knocked within two chapters of each other. He legit just took a nap earlier, only to take a nap not ten minutes later, by a three-piece combo. This is the GOAT. This is this is the best new gen neuter, I guess. This is him. This is him. <laughs> this is him. <laughs> Sleepy walkie. This is him. You know, but putting all that aside... I could have maybe, maybe excused all of this. You know, we're early time skip. We gotta make boards so look cool. We gotta set up the new threats, all that, all of this. But you know, one of the things you gotta keep is the fundamentals of the rivalry. You gotta really set up the fact that Boruto and Kawaki are equals, relative rivals. They're that guy relative to each other. They're gonna get in each other's way. So, you know, I could excuse all that if Kawaki was, if Kawaki was, if Kawaki didn't get one tapped again. What's the point? What's the point? What rivalry? Oh, but he's in ba He used Sukuona to knock Boruto off balance, or attempt to, lunge in with a gigantic claw, and get one tap by base Boruto. He got laid out by a one-hand step punch from base Boruto. Y'all. Yo, like, how, how is he not a fraud? At this point, the genuine question is, how is he not a fraud? He is hacking and coughing. Boruto literally hits the, have you been training at all? He pulls the Sun Goku from an entirely other manga, and it's perfectly valid. This is the fifth time in nine chapters that Kawaki has been laid out on the ground. I can't excuse it. I cannot excuse it anymore. There's no reason, no way. And I know people are going to be like, well, look at Kawaki. He gets the dub. He makes Boruto run away. Only because of a phenomenon that Boruto apparently doesn't have control over in the karma thing. And notably, it doesn't even say that Boruto would lose this fight. All that the little toad says is you need to leave now or you're going to lose control. I mean, he likely would have tweaked out and body code even harder. Not code. Body Kawaki even harder. So I'm sorry. I think we have to call... I think the, the time has come. We have to say that Kawaki is a... Fraud. One more time for the two-time. Fraud. One more time for the three-time. Fraud. And one more time for the four-time. Fraud. He's got to be a fraud. At this point, nine chapters deep, nine months deep, we're nearly a full year into the post-time skip run, and he's been taking nothing but L's, naps, and layouts. He has to be fraudulent. There's no debate anymore. I'm sorry. If you have any defenses for Kalki, please leave them in the comments. Because right here, right now, all I see is a sleepy boy who just needs a nap and is carmy warmy. But that's what I think. Please tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. And thank you so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that little notification bell so you not miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do happen to have a Patreon down below where you can support me for as low as one, get them one, down one, taking things like exclusive videos, early content, and more. You also now become a member of the channel for as low as $3 a month to get the same perks and more. Those perks will include live reactions, every series I review, after variations of all my videos, and if you become a $25 patron or a $25 member, you can order whatever video you want. Also, also, if you want to make a one-time donation or a one-time video request, the link to my Ko-Fi is in the description down below. Now, I'd like to thank you so much for watching once again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Zach with a Pencil, writing off. I would like to give a thank you to all three dollar members: Connor Plays, Greyhound, Akids Void, Astro, Eternal Flame, Red Wolf Four Seven Six Five, G Prosper, and Paris Arnold. And I'd like to give a thank you to our five dollar patrons: Steron, Sean, Midnight Lord Twenty One, Kevin, and Igneo. And I'd like to give a big old thank you to our seven dollar members: Autumn Mornings, Lazo, and Sick Addiction.
And I'd like to give a big old thank you to our $10 member, Robbie Uchiha. I'd like to give a gargantuan thank you to our $10 patrons, Panda Goat, Joaquin, Joaquin, and I Demo Kami. And I'd like to give a giga gargantuan scorn delicious thank you to our $25 patron, China Doll09. And I'd like to give another giga gargantuan gargantuan I have no idea what that word was. Thank you to our $25 patron, Calvin Elder.